as is the case every year, our consumer-centric culture zones in on the world's largest corporation's annual event. Actually, it's not even an annual event anymore. They do multiple a year. I am, of course, talking about Apple and the prime product, the iPhone. Every single year, we see the mindless droves of the world, the status thirsters who believe head over heart that if they do not have the latest model of an iPhone, then they are worthless human beings who do not deserve to be alive. There are people who really think that. It's hard to believe. Now, of course, there are also some people who just like myself, who just like using iPhones because they're easy to use. They're simple to use. They get the job done. The, the average person is not like that. And one of these people is you. Yeah. And you have had the iPhone 7 since 2017. Just a, uh, Early 2017, yes. Yeah, so a few months after it came out. And recently, the battery has gotten really bad on it. Well, you yes, can explain. There's other things that are really bad on it as well. Like? Like, whenever I try to swipe, you know, to do news of the widgets and stuff, it gets stuck sometimes. Yeah, so basically the thing's been... It's gone a lot worse ever since you got it. The battery used to last, like, what... How long did it used to last when you first oh, got it? You have to charge it like once a day or something if I use the phone a lot. And now you have to but charge it what? Charge it like four times a day and I can yeah. use it for an hour. Yeah, so it's going downhill. So you've been in the market for a new phone. Yeah, but I remember, I think it was early this year when the SE came out. I was thinking about getting it already done. And now it's to the point where I cannot need to get a phone. So I don't have a choice, Alex. Right, well, we'll get to that. But the point is, you were looking for a new phone. So you were looking forward to this event. You were going, oh, I hear the iPhone 12 is going to be announced this year. Okay, I'm looking looking forward to it. We'll see what it's like. And we watched it, and it was quite possibly the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. That's my opinion. And the reason for that, well, there's many reasons for that. Now, I could go on forever about the endless problems I have with the iPhone 12. First and foremost... The notch that has been around since the iPhone X is an absolute design catastrophe. And anyone who sticks up for it, you've simply gotten used to it. That is not good design. It is abysmal. If you've ever tried watching, you try watching a YouTube video on a phone like that, when when the notch is intruding in the video, Apple, even Apple doesn't like the fucking notch. They make wallpapers where it's black at the top where the notch is, so it looks, so it blends in. Why do they have that? Why do they have the notch? Because they're completely fucking inept. That's what. <laughs> that's that's why. That's what I think. Yeah, but if the majority of the people don't like the notch, which seems to be the case, why wouldn't they not change the design? The reason why they have the notch is obviously because they have Face ID, right? So they got rid of that. The notch. They don't want the notch to be there. It's like some. It's like a, a compromise. It's like in the future this won't be there, but for now, they, they valued Face ID over cosmetics. But that's another thing. I don't understand how they can think it's a good idea to have face ID with the coronavirus and people wearing masks since early this year. Like, why do they have uh, fingerprint They were probably designing this long before corona was around. In fact, they were designing this way long before. I don't know why they couldn't make some last minute addition. But the the point is, the point is the notch is a disaster. It's a disgrace. It has been right from the start. And what annoys me is a lot of uh, Apple's competitors, uh, the Android folks, they made fun of the notch when it came out, and then a year later they made a phone with a notch. So they just, it's like, why don't you stand by your principles here? I 100% refuse to buy a phone with a notch. I'll, st- I'll stick to my notchless phone forever if necessary. I'm not buying it. It's an artificial problem, and Apple does this. They create artificial problems that they'll later sell you the solutions to, and the notch is one of those. It's like one of those things that you kind of have to get used to. You have to like swallow, but no one, no one wants to. It's not attractive. It's not good. I'm sure there's some people who go, well, I think it makes it look unique. You've got no taste. It, it, is, it is a mark on the screen. Imagine if, you had, if your television had a notch. It is ridiculous. They shouldn't have put Face ID on if they couldn't execute it properly, if the notch is the price that, you're willing to, that, that, that people have to pay for it. Face ID is something that happens when you turn your phone on, right? As after that, you, you, it's useless. The notch is the permanently it's there all the time it's a disgrace and the fact they haven't shrank it at all this year it's the same size as it was last year the year before that and the year before that shows apple is fucking lazy straight up lazy but the big controversial point is the following 
They don't include a charger with it anymore. The charger thing really bugs me. Because if you're the world's richest company, you have a lot of money to spare. You got tri- you got over a trillion dollars. Nobody, I think it's two trillion dollars now. You got most more money than most companies, more more, more co- most companies, more countries. But it's the way they execute it. Because they don't just say, "Listen, we we disrespect our com- our customers. Our customers are morons, and they'll buy anything, and they'll defend us for it." They don't say that outright. Of course they don't. They have to put a positive slant on it. So they go, "We're saving the environment. We're saving the environment." That's not. I mean, we're selling you a phone that you you kind of have to buy a charger to use anyway if you don't already have one, which 99% of people don't have one that's compatible with the new ones because they've changed the fucking port. So that will probably result in more packaging and more emissions be, being used to deliver you the charger separately when you realize that you can't fucking use the thing afterwards. So that doesn't make any sense. But it's the goal because they really do think that their customers are stupid. And you want to know something? Honestly, I think it's because they are. I think it's because they are. I feel like a moron for using Apple products these days. I really do. What do you think? Well, I think they should have made it. I think you said something where they should have been an option. Like the the charger doesn't come automatically with the thing, but you have to like, you know, fill in a little thing, like put an X if you want a charger. Do you see yeah, what they, I mean? yeah. For no for no additional price, obviously. But they can't say that with the environment and like if you already have a charger, you don't really need one. But if you need one, you can have one for free, obviously. Where then people can make the choice. If they want to be, you know, good on the environment, they already have a charger, they don't need one, you know, why why get another one? Well, I've changed my mind on that because I think if you give people the option to get have something for free, they're always gonna take it whether they need it or not. No, I, I However, if you included the charger and the base price, but you gave people the option to have like ten dollars or twenty dollars off, and and there's no charger there, you know, like some sort of environmental payback or something like that. Yeah, then I think a lot of people might go, okay, yeah, sure thing. Maybe that's even better. But what's going to happen is a lot of people now they're not going to buy the Apple the Apple chargers because they're always overpriced. I mean, we had to get we had to get we didn't even get the charging brick. We got the wire, a wire. That cost like a shit ton of money. I can't even remember how much it was. It was like twenty nine pounds. Twenty quid for a wire. It's like that. That cost them. them. That cost them twenty pence to make. They've made like a thousand percent profit on that. And I feel like a moron. People are gonna get third party chargers. Exactly. It's exactly what I'm saying. Dangerous things. Exactly. You get the third party chargers that that fuck your battery up. Not all of them, obviously, but a lot of them cheap. They fuck your battery up. I mean, she she. You know, we have a family member of mine who buys uh, loads of these awful charges from eBay. They end up blowing up in smoke. I mean, they're awful. They're literally like a, a bomb in your house. It's terrible. You're going to have a lot of people go into that now, which is going to fuck the battery up, going to fuck their devices well, up. Some people are going to buy a new iPhone next year. Well, I, honestly, I feel, I just, I, honestly, but it's, the problem is it's got to the point where you can't, can't even justify buying the new phone, really. Because, oh, that's another thing, the Mini. The Mini. They were, right, so the the iPhone 11, last year's phone, was much larger uh, and costed, I think it costed the same. This year's, they've decreased the size, so you get, you get, you have to pay the same for less. Actually, it might be you have to pay more for less, I don't know. The bottom line is, they're just nickel and diming. They're, they're getting worse and worse as every year passes, in, in almost every single regard. And it's, but the, what annoys me is, it annoys me how they think that we're morons and how they think that their customers are morons and how and uh, to be fair there are a lot of people who will defend apple and and because they are morons you really think that a, a multi trillion dollar corporation is doing this out of the kindness of their heart we want to save the environment do they fuck they're doing it because it saves them money that's that's the only reason why they're doing it they're doing it because they can charge you extra for a charger, right? Because you need the charger. Why sell a product and not the thing that you need to charge it with? You need the charger. You're going to have to buy one. So where's your instinct to buy one from? Apple. Their chargers are always overpriced. They're just making a bigger markup. It's nothing to do with the environment. They just take you for a fool. And honestly, I've been using iPhones for ever since, ever since the 3GS. I've been using them for over a decade I'm I'm a hundred percent serious. If in years to come, when I need a new phone, that the, they they're getting worse, what are they going to do now? Set sell the fucking volume button separately or something like that? It wouldn't surprise me. If they're still doing things like this, 
I may, and I can't believe I'm saying it, I might look into Androids. Seriously. I know, seriously. Well, would you feel safe with that? Would they, you know, their privacy and stuff like that? Well, that's the problem, isn't it? Because Apple, they do a really good job at security. They do a good job at privacy, at least compared to Google. That's not saying much. And with a device that you can access your bank with, you can call like your friends and family, you have a ton of your own information on, you want privacy, like you want security. That's not yeah, one of the Yeah, but at, at the same time, I don't want to support a company that makes me feel like a moron. It's like when I played World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, when it came out, was an amazing game. But then they started, they, they slowly made it shitter and shitter, and it got to the point where I was playing the game. I wasn't having any fun with it, and I just felt like a moron. The fact that I was paying, like, what, £10 a month to play this game. And I, I, I just feel like a fool doing it, and it led me to quit. I don't like companies that disrespect their customers. As simple as that. And, and it's blatant disrespect. It's like they're laughing at you almost. It's like you're they're, you're not getting a charger with a phone. And they're saying, it's to save the world. Fuck you. If people want a phone from Apple because of the security and all the other benefits, they don't have to get as well. They can get the SE, you know. No, no, no. They stopped including the chargers with all the phones. Even if you bought an SE, if you bought an 11, they, they don't give you the charger anymore. They've removed it in all of them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought it was just a 12. No, all of them. Every single one. Huh. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? No, and they haven't decreased the price on the previous phones? No, no, they decreased the price, but that's because it's 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 out of date by a no, year now. No, that, but, but they they've not. They decreased the price on the SC, but yet they don't include the charger. No, they decreased it by like... The SC? Yeah, but it's a, if it's a few months old, man, they have to they, they kind of well, they kind of have to decrease the prices yeah, every know. every time they update the lineup. But it's not out of the kindness of their own hearts. It's because oh, the the tolerance to pay is less. No, but I I don't like companies that treat me like an idiot. And Apple treats their customers like shit. They treat them like fucking more. Android, like they can't even keep their things safe. Yeah, but Android's not one company. It's like Samsung no, and all the other companies. Yeah, no, yeah, but they're just inept. They're just inept. They're clones of Apple. Like, they're just, they try their, they, they, well, I say the clones of Apple, many of them copy Apple, like I said, with Samsung and the notch earlier, but they're just, they're shit, not because they disrespect their customers, they're shit because they are shit. Apple clearly has the potential to be incredible, but they purposely make dumb decisions and create artificial problems to charge their customers more later for them. The notch. Everyone wants a notchless iPhone. When that comes out, though, do you really think that they're going to they're gonna sell that for like, oh, I don't know, 500, no. 500, even 1,000? Remember, they've made 1,000 the standard now. Think about that. No, they're going to sell that for like two grand. And they're going to call it like the, you know, the, the ultimate iPhone. It's notchless. But, but, they'll still sell notched iPhones for less, right? You know what I mean? That, so they've created... Pro Max will be the notched last one for next year. Exactly. They'll create this premium... Not, well, maybe not next year. I don't know. I don't know how long they're going to keep this charade up. I, I'm surprised they've not slowly decreased the notch to make it like a, a selling point year on year to make you want to upgrade. Not shame you with the size of your notch. The bigger it is, the poorer you are. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised they've not done that yet. But what I'm saying is it is inevitable. Sometime in like 20, 2022, 2023, they'll release this notchless iPhone and it will be so overpriced. And then the next year they'll slightly lower the price and then they'll slowly get rid of the notched ones. But then there'll they'll be, they'll be a new problem then. But something I don't really understand with, with them and the developing new the, the phone things. Why did it go from Touch ID that is so simple to Face ID? ID? I mean, why did he do that? Well, it's because they got to get rid of the home button, and the the touch ID was on the home button. Here, here, I know. I I said that. They're doing it with iPads, and why didn't they just do that? That makes more sense. I don't know. I said that. I don't think it's so much easier. I don't know. I I don't like Face ID. I wouldn't. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it anyway. But it no. Especially now with masks and people, you know, doing stuff like that. It's so simple to just hold your finger on a button. But tell me if this makes sense, right? What's what I said earlier. When, when the iPhone X was announced back in 2017 and the notch was there, I was horrified. I didn't think it was real at the start. I thought it was a joke, you know, like onion or something like that. And I, I saw it was real and I was like, what the fuck is that? Why is there a black bar across the, at the top of the screen? And, and they said, oh, no, that's there for Face ID. We can't, we can't have that there. We can't have Face ID uh, and under the display yet. We have to have the notch, right? And I thought to myself, 
So you're, you guys have made the decision that the notch, which is a design disaster, I don't care if people have got used to seeing it now, it is a design disaster. That is worth Face ID. You use Face ID for one second when you open your phone. The notch is there every single second that you use your phone. How is that a worthwhile trade-off? I'd rather have a home button on, like a battle and a home button. I'd rather type in a passcode every time than have to, than have to fucking y y see that. I, I'm, I'm, I thought they would have like the, fa uh, the fingerprint thing like they do on the iPad. I really thought that, so that was very disappointing. But that, that's another thing. They're inept. I feel like they're inept. Imagine being... Imagine, I mean, you give me two trillion dollars, I could make a notchless phone. Seriously. They, they choose not to do it. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, Apple could have a notchless phone. They could have a phone that is, like, so much better than the shit that they've released with the iPhone 12. You wouldn't believe it. Like, they could, have, they could make it incredible. But they choose not to. They choose not to. And then they go, so? And then they charge you more. So then they can sell you what you really want slowly next year, year on year on year. But they could do it now. It just annoys the shit out of me. I feel like a moron using these fucking things. I feel disrespected by them. I mean, iPhones haven't been good ever since the uh, ever since well, ever since the seven. I think that's when they. Oh, really? That's when I think they started going downhill. But it's just a disaster. But anyway, it really annoyed me that. And by the way, anyone anyone who thinks the whole point of this is anyone who thinks that Apple is not including chargers to save the world and help the environment or whatever, you're a fool, right? They're, th that's not why they're doing this. They're doing this because they're greedy as fuck. They've been greedy for years and they're only going to get more and more greedy as time goes by. People need to stop. People need to call them out on their bullshit. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of soylent drinking uh, California neckbeards going... Oh, you don't understand Apple's incredible designs. You don't under... Fuck you. The notch is a disgrace. The iPhone 12 is a disaster. It is a complete disappointment. It is overpriced. And I, as, an, as, a, as a guy who... I'm not some Android, you know, obsessive. As someone who uses Apple stuff and has done for years, this is a disgrace. It's a disaster. But anyway, what did I ask? You asked, what do you think about Apple not including a charger with your latest iPhone? Let's see what the people have to say. And I'm going to cross my fingers and hope and hope and pray that people, there's no Apple defenders here who are like, oh, it's an amazing decision. Please tell me that's not the case. Anyway, go ahead. You haven't seen this comment, right? No, I've not seen any. Okay, good. One Phil said, one day they won't even include a phone. Like you literally just get something to put in your current phone. Look, I remember with the free GS, you got, obviously you got the phone, you got the nice charger, you got the nice stickers. By the way, that's another thing I told you about the silly. They're not, they've cut down the stickers from two to one. Yeah, but the stickers are for their benefits, not ours, so who cares? No, I know, but it's, it's, oh, it's symbolic. It's like, I, I don't like it when companies, they, they get the reputation for setting a standard. And then they destroy their own standard because they become greedy and yeah. they want more. A sticker, a fucking sticker, costs like what? Two pence. Two pence to make a sticker. Yes. And they probably less than that. And they have and they have gone, you know what? These fuckers who are paying a thousand a thousand dollars for our phones, that's too much. That's too cut it down to and eventually they're not gonna give any. I understand it's the reason why they include the stickers is obviously so then you put them everywhere and it's free marketing for them. It's not for your benefit. But the point is, it's a cool little bonus. It's like that little thing. It's like that, that nice little Apple Deluxe, right? You didn't expect it. You never think about it. When you're opening the phone, you're focused on the phone. But when the stickers are there, you, you sort of smile and go, oh, you know, it's like that little... I threw them away. I know you threw them away, but it's like a nice little bonus. It's like, you know, oh, that's nice. But they're getting rid of that. You know, they're, they're getting rid of the thing that made them special to begin with. They're just becoming greedy. I mean, they've been greedy for, forever, but been, but it, like this is almost unbearable level of greediness. If you would have told people 10 years ago, one day they're not even going to give you a charge on the phone, people would laugh their ass off. And now they're normalising it. It really annoys me. But anyway, yeah, I agree with you. It, it's going it, to... 20, 2021, you've you got to get your own volu volume buttons sold separately. 2022, screen sold separately. Think about it with screen sold separately and stuff like that. They're already sort of doing that because they always talk about and recommend that you have a case, you have a screen protector, and then you have to buy all of that separately. That doesn't come with the phone. 
This is why I hate cases. Because I always say, if you if your phone needs a case, it's a shit phone. It's poorly no, designed. But no, but but but, but hang on, you're not you're not listening. The f- if you make a phone and you yourself as the company sell cases for the phone, what you're basically saying to me is the phone isn't durable. It needs clothing to protect itself. Why not make the phone durable? And then, and then you should outright come on stage, out on stage, and say you don't need a, a case for this phone. This phone is so durable, you don't need a case. But they don't do that because they want you to buy the case to get more money. Yeah, well, it's more. I think it's not really for durability. Like you can drop it and it still works. You can drop it in water and it still works. But it's more for like scratches and fingerprints and shit like that. I d- and I don't buy the argument. I hate this argument. As you as you know, I hate this argument. Why? Why would you buy? Song? Why would you buy a phone? Right that is made of high quality metal and it, it's got all these colors. They, you know, at Apple, they have these color people, right? That they pick the colors of the phones and they do like immense research every year about what shade of red is gonna sell the most, what shade of green is gonna sell the most. They really have that department. They, they pay people, to, to my knowledge, just to pick the bloody colors every year. Seriously, why go through all that effort and then some prick just puts a case on it. I don't, everyone has a phone case. I know I'm, I'm one of the only people who refuses, right? But this does not make sense. Yeah, but listen to me. There's benefits with having a case. Like, oh, some cases work as like a wallet. So you can put your cards, so you can put money there and stuff like that. That's very convenient because that's like two in one, right? And then a lot of people use it for, I mean, to personalize it. Because nowadays phones look all the same. Like in back in I don't know fifteen years ago, phones would they would all be different, right? But now they all look the same. So a case is sort of a way to personalize your phone. I mean, you can even have custom made uh, cases. You can have you can take a picture of your little puppy. And you can have his face on it. I mean, who would want that? I would want that. Do you remember my iPhone U idea? No. It's called iPhone U, not U as in Y O U, but just U. And the point was you could customize like it was like build your own iPhone. So you or you bought you ordered it for you on the website. So you could choose whether you wanted a notch. Like if you're a moron, you could choose if you wanted a notch if you wanted one. Uh, you could just have a home button. You know what? What or do you want your volume buttons to be like iPhone five, where they were like these cool circles with a plus and minus, or do you want them to just be these boring buttons that they have now? Uh, what color? You could pick out of like thousands of colors, right? Things like that. You could have your name put on it. Right, you could choose where you wanted. Like you could, you could really customize it hardcore. I don't get me wrong. That's a great idea. I really. I mean, I got, I got that inspired by Xbox because they do that with their Xbox controllers. Now, obviously, a phone is a lot more, you know, more advanced than that. But I think that'd be badass. That way, it solves that problem. But I just, okay, I get it. Customization for a case, fine. A wallet for a case, fine. I'll give you that. But when people say I get a case for durability. That just pisses me off. I just think you, you, you will net you. You have people who they get the phone and they instantly put a case on it. They never even feel the phone that they've bought. You have, why not? I remember the iPhone five C, right? Remember when I told you about that back in college? Back in when I was in college, I had the iPhone five C. People call it the iPhone five cheap and five crap, right? Because it was made out of plastic. I mean, look it up. It's it was literally like this ugly plastic. I like the look of it myself, but people hated it. They all everyone wanted the the five S, right? Which was made out of aluminum. Aluminum. I just said aluminum. Aluminium. I'm not American. It was made out of uh, metal, and everyone wanted that, right? Because if you had the iPhone 5C, people thought you were poor. It can't be seen as poor. The thing is, who gives a shit? Because everyone had a case on anyway. You would never know. It was it was like the same shit. You would never know. So I, I just... Oh, anyway, this is a tangent. Anyway, car- carry on. Next one. EV Lord said, Yet another reason to own an Android. Well, I'm starting to agree at this point. I mean, I, I I don't know what the other reasons are. I'll be honest with you, but you know, but in this case, I will say, you know what, you know what, actually, no, actually, I'm wrong here yeah. because I tell you, I guarantee you, Mister Android, right? In give it two years, two years, I guarantee they'll stop remove, they'll remove the charges in Androids as well. They follow Apple. They they added, they made Samsung made fun of the notch. What did they do? They add a notch. They, they made fun of removal of the headphone jack. What do they do? They remove the headphone jack. All Android companies just follow Apple. You know, Apple is like... Apple is the trailblazer and everyone else is just following to imitate them. So, 
and you know, I, I, maybe I should take back what I said about Android because they're just going to fucking follow anyway. But yeah, go ahead. Thirteen J- Jams said the only reason I have Apple is because I got an iPhone Seven at a good deal. If I get another Apple product, it will be because they have a better deal. Apple is good, but there are too many Android phones phones that are better. Apple Apple has a very high initial cost, but when you get past that cost, what you have most of the time is a great experience. It's like there's someone you know, you know what I'm talking about, who they they break someone in their, their family, they break their phone. How many times? Maybe once or twice a year. So they break the, like how many phones have they had in last year? Two she's probably on her third now or something. Third phone in the last year. Two or three, yeah. And meanwhile, how many phones have you had for the last three years? One. Exactly, right. And they're all Android. She buys these cheap, shitty Androids. And, I, I, you know, I, I know people like this who, not in terms of phones, but in general, they'll buy the cheap shit, like the, the no-name brand stuff, whether it be food or furniture or whatever, right? Because it's cheaper than the real deal, right? But they all there's a reason why they're cheap. Sometimes some products are cheap, but they're just actually good, right? And the, and the mainline brand is just they're just profiteering on, on their name and it's actually not that good. But when it comes to technology, that's not often the case. Like Apple stuff is solid, but the problem is the initial price puts a lot of people off. Now, I've never been put off by the price because I think I calculate how long am I going to use this for, right? And it's usually a very long time because they have good software support. Lasts, what, you get five years of, of iOS support? That's pretty good. So you should divide the phone price by five and then go, that's how much I'm paying per year for the next five years. Is is, is that worth it? Two years? I'm sure, yeah, but like one year or something like that. But so that that's fine. But the problem is, I don't, it, like, it's getting to the point now, Apple has always been overpriced, right? It's always overpriced, it, like, you know, in a way. But it's getting to the point now where it, it's it's annoying, you know, like I'm starting, it's getting to the point now where I'm, I'm thinking it's not worth it. And I don't like feeling disrespected as a customer. And the charge, the charger thing is a bare-faced lie. And the only people who believe it are idiots. And I'm not an idiot. I don't like to be treated like one. That's the problem. Boomy Baton said, A really clever move by Apple. They will be able to ship more. They send a new cable, so you'll need to buy an either way. And they can say it's because of the environment. Really smart, honestly. Well, they didn't become the richest company in the world by being polite, I guess, being charitable. It's true. I, it's exactly what I said. You've got to have it anyway. So the, does this make sense? Well, I wouldn't. If the charger will come in a different package, a different box than than the than the, the obviously the iPhone box because I saw the smaller box because they're not putting the charger in it. They're not including it. So if you have to buy a charger separately, won't that just be more packaging? Yeah, and they'll damage the environment even more. Or what if? Or what about the people who buy it and they just think it's going to be in there because they're not like you know they don't read into it or something. They just buy it like an old person. They realize there's no charger and then they have to buy it separately. Won't that increase emissions via more deliveries? So it's not about the environment. Of course it isn't. But yeah, yeah, it is genius. What annoys me is the fucking corporate sheep who who go bah no they're saving the world bah. I'm surprised we've not seen any of them yet. But Really, just, yeah, I completely agree. I still don't understand if it will fit my charger that I already have or not. Well, that's another thing as well. They said, it's all right, though, guys, because you can just use your existing charger. And that's a fair argument. If you're buying the phone for the first time, uh, sorry, not for the first time, why not just keep using it? The thing is, to my knowledge, it won't work yeah, because it's, it's lightning. USB-C. If, if, it, it's US, if it's USB-C... And it has USB-C on the other end. It won't fit into your current adapter because right now it's lightning to USB-A. So everyone needs one anyway. So what the hell are they talking about? Yeah, oh, I don't know. It's confusing. Yeah. Okay. TDPI24 said, For real, just when I thought my disrespect for apple tarts couldn't be worse. It's the corporate board, those greedy fucking goblins, getting around those boardrooms and saying... How can we increase our uh, corporate uh, dividends this year? Uh, look into disposable, uh, you, know, you know, means of affordability. And then they, you know, because they, they they talk like that, they talk like retards. That you know, they make every sentence a big deal. And they've gone. 
some some genius has gone, well, why don't we just remove the charger and just say, like, you know, it's saving the world. And, and they've gone, fuck it, that's genius. They've retimed all defenders. You know, and there's a million Apple YouTubers and Apple people who are just already, I can feel, I can hear them. Do you hear that? Listen. I can hear them typing on their fucking $5,000 MacBook Pro going, this is actually an amazing move by Apple. Genius, leading the way to save the environment. Fuck you. Uh, Raccoon Sand Coffee said, honestly, it's a power move. Because if it was any other brand, people wouldn't buy it. But Apple can just do that and people will still buy it. And they can make more money by selling the chargers separately. Yeah, and it just goes to show the power of brands, doesn't it? If Samsung did this, everyone would be going, fuck you, I'm never buying this shit again, because no one gives a shit about the Samsung brand, really. You know, if any, you know, uh, Huawei, if they're still in business, if they did this, my God, geez, they'd be they'd be throttled. But Apple, because it has such a strong brand, it can get, it can literally get away with anything, and and they are really they're doing it. They're trying their best. They're seeing like what they can get away with. I would love to see what ideas they've come up with to nickel and dime their customers that even they thought was too far. Some of some of it would work. Like I'd love to see that. Like uh, I don't know. Like, should we include? Uh, what what could they do? In, oh, oh, I know. No battery. You got to buy a battery separately. But the battery's like like magnetic so you can easily put it in but you've got to buy it separately i imagine they've done that no no what about the headphones they don't include them anymore no, they don't include them anymore they did not include them for a long time i think oh. Oh, oh what else oh i know i know i know uh remove the charging port right so you can only you can only charge it wirelessly but don't give them a wireless. a wireless charger they'll do that they'll do that as well you know I'd love to see that but yeah the power of brands is not to be underestimated it's crazy what people will do and the mental gymnastics that people will do you see Apple customers have a reputation for being dumb fucks and it's it's not true sure a lot of ignorant people who don't care about technology buy Apple products right and there's a lot of Android phones that have superior hardware even right but people don't care because they just want something that works and does what they want to do right People just don't have time, and um, Apple's very good at marketing. But Apple customers aren't idiots. They, they're just suckers for convenience, really. But in this case, anyone who defends this, you actually are an idiot. That, that's, what, that's what I think. Uh, Do Good 2422 said, I think it's a great move. And the environmental impact aside, it's nice that Apple isn't putting another adapter into the junk drawer, never to be used again. How... Is the adapter going in the junk drawer if most people who buy the... If it's a new adapter, for, for one, yeah. and most people... And you need it to use the phone. So, uh, uh, what are you talking about, man? You need the fucking charger to use the phone. It's not going in the junk drawer if you need it to use the thing. It'll go in the junk drawer five years from now when the iPhone fucking 20, 20 25 is out or something like that, right? N no one's going to put it in the junk drawer now. Uh, what are you talking about? He would do right? exactly. This is some prick who's already got like, oh, I I have a ten iPad uh, Pros, I have fifteen iPhones, I have five thousand cables. I don't need another one. Stop thinking about you, prick. Think about the from it, think about it from a new customer's experience or the average customer's experience, right? They're gonna be the average person does not have a USB C cable. You don't. Because the only people who do right now are people who have iPad Pros, to my knowledge. Most people do not have USB-C cables. So why would it would it go in the quote-unquote junk drawer? It wouldn't. You're not thinking. Uh, Miss Fitzlabby said, Apple charges extra for everything. They charge for cloud storage, music, etc. Android is the better choice. Doesn't Google charge for cloud storage? And doesn't Google charge for actually no they don't charge for music because they do that for youtube i think so that that's a good deal but even then yeah, they yeah. only have like three ads in front of every music yeah yeah, yeah exactly but so yeah so you got to still pay a premium subscription there i guess nothing in nothing in this world is free really and also with google you're paying with your fucking information yeah, you're selling you're selling that's... you're selling everything about yourself to them in order to get a penny back so that's one thing I like about Apple. At least they're up front and they're willing to say to you, hey, listen, nothing in this world's free. If you want this, we're going to have to pay for it. But hey, at least we won't steal, you know, your life's biography. 
You know what I mean? I prefer that, honestly. Yeah, same. I, I prefer that. Yeah. But it is true that they are a nickel and diamond company. Uh, TD Ballman87 said, It's been fun to watch Apple and Microsoft take down IBM only to become IBM. Well, it's as that quote says, isn't it? You, you know, what is it? You've a dire hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. It's true. It's like every company, right now in gaming, for example, there's a, there was a, there's a company called CD Projekt Red. Which is like, and they're right now they have loads of ass lickers because they're one of the only big AAA companies out there who who aren't complete scumbags. Like most companies, like uh, Blizzard, my least favorite company on on the planet, uh, they have riddled their games with microtransactions, uh, unnecessary politics, and yeah, most companies have. They're just in general, most AAA companies are just greedy fuckers, uh, and anyone who plays games can tell you that. But CD Projekt, they're they're kind of different. They're like you know. Oh, we're not going to include microtransactions. You know, we're not going to charge people extra. They're just an all an, a, a good company. But I made a prediction that as time goes by, uh, a decade from now, they'll be the villain. They'll be the they'll be the new villain. The other companies might not be around, but they'll be the new villain. And then there'll be a new company that comes around who starts off being really nice. And then when they start to get wealthy and they start to get a following and they their brand has a lot of power and they realize they can leverage their customers' trust. They'll become the villain, so it's just a it's just the the cycle the cycle of business, isn't it? Really, I I actually came up with this. It's called the like the three phases. Yeah, you have three phases that all bi- all successful businesses go through. You have like the first phase, which is like when they're small, you know, they're very passionate, but they don't have much money, much resources, but they're they're good at what they do. And because they're good at what they do, they can get to the second phase, which is like the golden era, where they have money, they have uh, customers, they have resources, and they're still good at what they do. But eventually the founders leave, the people who made it good leave, and then they enter the last phase, which is like the greedy phase, where it becomes taken over by corporate executives who just try to nickel and dime the customers until the brand trust dies, which is exactly what happened with Blizzard, uh, the company I mentioned earlier. And and then the company just dies. It it dies of its own greed. It eats itself in a way. And Apple is on that last phase now. You know, it was in the golden era, back in the two thousands. Ever since, and now it's in this sort of greedy era. So yeah, the problem is with Apple. I don't think it will die. I think it'll still be around many many decades from now, because its brand is it it, it has its claws in so many people. It's very difficult to stop using Apple products, and they purposely engineer it uh, like that. So, uh, Emma Rex too said, "I don't know, man. They obviously did it for the money. I mean, it's a two trillion company, but I feel like everyone already has a power brick anyway, so I don't think it's that bad." Look, if I'm wrong about this, okay, then I'm wrong about this. But to my knowledge, iPhone twelve uses USB C. Most and the USB-C cables, to my knowledge, are USB-C on both ends. So the end that plugs into the phone and the end that plugs into the power adapter. Mm-hmm. That's different from now where it's lightning on one end and it's USB-A on the other end. So most people don't have a compatible power brick. And no, all. Maybe the cord has a USB-C on one and lightning on the other end. Well, who cares? What difference would that make? Because it, can, it works with the, the ones we have, like from the like previous iPhone. So. No, it wouldn't. It would need USB C and USB A on one end. Oh yeah, well that's what I mean. Oh well, if it had that, sure, if it had that. But still, I I, I don't look. Nintendo did this similar a few years ago, where with the Nintendo um, 3DS XL, I think it was, they didn't include a charger. And I don't I don't understand why companies think that if you if you that they don't have to sell you something that you need to keep using the product. It's like if you buy something, you should what you should have. It's a comp- it should be a complete package, right? That's why I like the iMac. When you buy the iMac, you get the computer, you get the screen, you get the keyboard, you get the mouse, you get the, the everything all in one. It's an all in one product. That's why I like the iPhone. It's an all in one product. That's really why the desktop PC is becoming so unpopular because you ha- we have a desktop PC over there. You have to buy the monitor, the speakers, the keyboard, the mouse. You know, you have to buy the the actual desktop tower itself all separately. It's like that's not a very nice experience, right? You just want to buy something and it works. So, but uh, it's just disrespect. Safira Sky said, My next phone is going to be an Android of some kind. I am tired of Apple's bullshit. I feel the same way. But 
when I think more and more about how much Google destroys privacy and whatnot, and, and the fact that you need an antivirus on a phone makes me feel ill. Choice. Yeah, I kind of feel like I don't have a choice. And maybe they take advantage of that. Maybe, you know. David John F. Four said, I think it's a way for them to extort even more money from, from their customers. I find it disgusting. Yeah, I mean, if I think about it from Apple's perspective, a lot of a lot of people, Apple does not have majority market share in the phone market. Despite the iPhone being like the most talked about and the most popular phone, they don't have majority market share. Android is like, what, outnumbers them five to one or something like that? But the, they make more money than all the other phones combined. It's because Apple phones are more expensive. But it's also because Apple's customer base tends to have a lot more income, right? Like, n- there's not many people in, like, India, for example. I mean, India, the f- their phones over there cost, like, $2,000 because of the, the, they have some weird laws there. So only the wealthy are going to have the phone over there, right? But in West, in Western countries, especially the United States, where the taxes are, are pretty lax, uh, you, can, you can get one anyway. What I'm saying is is that what if, if you realize that your customer base doesn't mind paying high prices anyway, you might as well just nickel and dime them. But I just view it, as I've said a million times already, as a level of of disrespect, you know, and I don't, I, I, it's just wrong. Don't like it. But I can see why from their perspective. Is that all? No, there's one more. Kind Red Panda said, I already have like four to five bricks in my house from previous purchases and plenty of cables to go around. Not an issue not getting a charger for myself. However, I can see that it being an issue if someone decides to switch to Apple and buys the 12 as their first iPhone. Having to buy a charger separately is a little trashy. Yeah, exactly what I said earlier. Completely agree. And I'm glad to see that the majority opinion there is basically exactly what what we were saying. It's trashy, it's greedy. One person said that it's like good of, of them, you know, for that. Yeah, but they're a so. they're probably a bourgeoisie that's prick. One out of sixteen, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's the one that's the, the California neckbeard I was talking about earlier who's twirling their beard and he's going like, Oh well I have five hundred Apple products. I don't need more charges. Save the world, Apple trillion dollar, two trillion dollar corporation. Do it You like come on. Not everyone's a woke idiot, but I'm glad. I'm very glad that that's majority opinion. It makes me feel uh, a lot more sane because, you know, when I was browsing the internet earlier, all I saw was, believe it or not, was people defending it. Seriously. What what did they say, though? They said said things like, oh, you know, believe it or not, Apple can do this to make them more money and save the environment, you know? And it's like, nah. Nah, I don't know. I don't buy that. I, I mean, believe that the majority didn't see that. Well, they didn't do it. Co- I saw a Fred comment thread about it where people were like, oh, yeah, this is great. I don't know why people are giving Apple so much shit. This is a great decision. I think that this is going to save the environment. Or they're doing an environment like a uh, favor. Listen, if you're some average college spastic who spends all day on Reddit, right, you, you might actually think that this might have a huge effect on global warming. That, like you might actually do that. These are the same people who think that if Bernie Sanders was elected, they'd shit gold, right? Like they don't, they, you know. These people don't think. It's like it's it's negligible. It's like Jesus Christ. Apple iPhones are like they're barely. I mean, they they are they are a substantial percentage, but they're not the majority of nowhere near the majority of phones sold. No. It's gonna have a very marginal effect on on the environment at all it's bullshit and also with iphones people use them for so many years like they don't just discard them like a cheap uh, phone from like an android phone they, people just throw it away but then uh, but an uh, iphone you, you can use for like five years yeah why didn't quite environmentally friendly as it is why didn't they include like a full-on oh you know I, what's the, what's even the point of coming up with ideas for them they don't, they don't give it. To they, don't, they don't give it. They don't listen to anyone. You know what? They should listen to your iPhone you or you phone or whatever you call it. iPhone you. Yeah, because the like, phone for you. That's exactly. Yeah, because I want uh, the fingerprinting. You know what it means that everyone gets whatever they want. Like you know, every every you know whatever color you want. Like there's loads of there's loads of times where I go, oh my favorite color is green. I wish this I wish this iPhone was in green. It's, it's only a really bad green, to be honest. It's only recently that they've made a phones in green, and I'm like, oh, okay, but it's not the green I like. No, and I was thinking, not. can you imagine if you could just pick out of any color? Like they have like five. Oh, per- that's fucking blue. It's awful. Yeah. yeah well. But well, the point is, imagine if you could pick whatever color you wanted. Yeah. You know, like I like the home button. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, can I have that there? But I don't want a notch, mm-hmm. you know. So can I have like the edge to edge display? Uh, but a home button, but I want the home button at the side. I'm not saying ultimate customization, like you can pick, put the buttons wherever the fuck you want or something, because that wouldn't be worth it for them. Absolutely. But I'm saying, like, let us pick and choose what we want rather than having to go. A- Apple would never do that. And imagine they have some contests, so you can kind of upload your phone and the specs, and if tons of people were buying that, you would get like a tiny, tiny little cut every year. Uh, what, are we ta- what company are we talking about here? Oh, this is never great. fucking. Right number one, that. Apple is anti customization, oh. they don't let you customize shit. You couldn't, you couldn't change your iPhone, iPhone wallpaper until like the iPhone 4, iOS 4 came. You couldn't do that. You could change the lock screen, no wallpaper. You have Mac OS. You can't customize that basically at all. They don't let you do that at all. Granted, nor does Windows these days. But, you know, they're not a pro customization company. You know, I, I just, ugh, they'd never do it. And not in a million years would they do it. But if they did do it, everyone would be happy. It's one of those things where people would be like, Check out mine, man. Check out mine. It'd be like the biggest deal ever. But they will never do that. And they could even charge a hundred pounds more for it. Absolutely. They could say, oh, listen, because we're this is a one-of-a-kind iPhone that's been made just for you, yeah. we're going to, even though it's been made by a robot in China, we're going to be charging more. We hope you understand that. The average person would be like, fuck yeah, I picked the colour. Oh, yeah, look at this. This is It's got my name on it. They, they'll never fucking do that. It doesn't even have to be that much, like, customization. Just like, do you want face ID? Or do you want a fingerprint? Do you want uh, bezels? Do you want, uh, like, the notch? What color do you want? Like, that's not that much. Yeah, I mean, straight up. It would be a top seller. It would be amazing. But, yeah. mark my words, they never bloody do it. They never do it. But, bottom line is, overall, I'm very pleased that I'm not the only one who is infuriated by this change. Apple... You're a very successful company. You're going to be very successful for many years to come. But for fuck's sake, stop treating your customers like donkeys.